This question belongs to the previous one. C. Piston B moves a smaller distance than piston A. Explain why. Let's imagine this again. This is our hydraulic braking system. This is piston A and this is piston B. And the oil is between them. The question says that when piston A is pushed, so it moves a distance inwards. So piston B is consequently pushed outwards. But the distance moved by piston A inwards is greater than the distance moved by piston B outwards. In the question, he needs an explanation for that. During the move of piston A, it pushes a volume of oil. This amount of oil is moved from a small cross-sectional region to a large cross-sectional region. Since the volume of transferred oil is the same, this will cause piston B, which has larger surface area, to move a smaller distance. So the answer will be the same volume of oil is transferred from A to B. Area of A times distance moved by A equals area of B times distance moved by B. So the distance moved by B is smaller. Question D. Suggest why the braking system does not work properly if the oil contains bubbles of air. Now imagine again, this is our braking system with incompressible oil. But what if there is an air bubble inside the oil? The air bubble is gas. Gases are compressible, unlike liquids. That's why, if piston A is pushed inwards, the bubble will be compressed and decrease in size. That's why piston B will not move or will move a smaller distance than expected. This is because the bubble is compressible. So we can say that air is compressible. So the air bubble will be compressed. This reduces the pressure on B. So it moves smaller distance than it should move.